Hello everybody here on YouTube and welcome. We are drafting Theros flashback draft today and we have opened a very, very cool one actually. Uh, Zena goes the Reveler. Now, this triple Theros is, is uh, um, I was going to say is Ghost. It's Phantom. So we don't actually get to keep the cards, but I do think Zena goes is still just very, very strong. Um, it is a pretty good reason to take a multicolored card at the beginning of the draft. Yeah, woo you on YouTube. Yeah, it's Xenogod. Well, technically this is not Xenogod. Xenogod gets swole in, in um, Cherny and Nyx. Then he's Xenogod. Mm. Xenogod gun delivered to you. RG Monsters with Storm Rhythm for Lucrino Standard. Yes. All right. So we're taking Xenogos here for sure. Oh, this is the start of a super nice draft. We get to take Lightning Strike here. It's just like one of the best removal spells ever. We could take Voyaging Seder, but I think between Lightning Strike and Voyaging Seder, it's got to be Lightning Strike. Oh, Zena goes, go and give it to you. <laughs> hmm. Slam it, you could still go Jund. Hey, okay, welcome to the stream. How are you? Time to feed? No, I think he becomes thick, Zena goes. <laughs> Yeah, that Zendigos becomes thick. No, I think it's Lightning Strike. We are passing some nice heroic stuff, so we'll maybe put the player next to us. Like, Phalanx Leader is a good reason to take white, honestly. Mikhail! Best two months ever! Thank you so much, Mikhail! Welcome back! Best two months ever. Mikhail, I, I think you did get my message, but we ended up winning that draft, the one where you actually tagged out towards the end when it was, like, super early in the morning for you. We ended up winning that draft, which was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, Strike is really good. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything good here. We can just take Nessian Courser, which is like a fine card. Paxis says, ooh, Gabby Sports, any chance for some Titan Shift for Modern? Maybe, Pac. I like the versions with um, Primetime better than like Scape Shift, but I, I have liked those decks before. Yeah, I think we're just taking Nessian Courser. It's just good value. 3 mana 3-3 three, three is a good rate. Oh, Nessie and Asp, hello! Nessie and Asp is just one of the best cards in the set. Argon Tonic, I'm not even sure why you want to switch to white when we are getting like really good red and green cards. Yeah, that Asp is thick. You might still Emissary. You think Emissary is better than Nessian Asp? But what if I want to tap that Asp? You do have... You would really take Perforus' Emissary over Nessian Asp, please? I don't know. I can't... No, I'm taking Asp. I don't care what Louis says. <laughs> I don't care about your rules. I'm not passing the CNS. Not today, not ever. If I'm green. Or I can play it. Griptide is blue for splash, also better here. I think nah, sorry, I just disagree. Argon. I disagree. The crack my war collar was pretty good in the Minotaur's deck, I remember that. Karametra's Acolyte adds green mana equal to your devotion to green. Yeah, I, look, I'm not passing the CNS, not under my watch. Oh, uh, I remember this was like the one of the multicolored ones. Well, no, technically not multicolored, but it's actually like extremely medium. I'm just gonna take the accolade. I mean, it's not amazing, but whatever. Uh oh. We are getting the hook up here. We get to take Ordeal of Perforos, which is pretty good, or Rage of Perforos, which also is like pretty decent. It does suck that Rage of Perforos is a sorcery. Hmm. Yeah, Acolyte is not amazing. It, it looks better than it is, I that I promise you. Kind of want to take the ordeal. This is one of the better ordeals. Yeah, let's just take the ordeal. I'm in. I'm in. Say no more. So, Seder Rambler, which I remember being pretty medium as far as medium goes. We could take Sedge Scorpion. Go turn one Sedge Scorpion, turn two Ordeal Perforos. Yeah, Rick. Also, Sedge Scorpion goes well with Xenagos. Because it just 
blocks our creatures, and then we get to have our Xenagos. Combo. Sedge Father. We're taking the Sedge Father. Oh, Destruct the Revelry is not insane. It's, I don't think you main deck that, but I think it's like pretty good sideboard card. Warrior's Lesson is interesting. Until end of turn up to two target creatures you control gain whenever this creature deals combat damage to player, draw a card. Yeah, such Scorpion also blocks all... Such Scorpion is good in the format where you're like trying to put every single bestow creature on your thing. You're just like trying to Voltron. You're like, you're wrecked, son. Uh... I think I'm gonna take Warrior's Lesson, but not not necessarily start it. We're not taking any of these cards. I wouldn't mind if we put the person next to us in blue, so let's just let him take it. We'll just take a Bronze Sable. Um, none of these cards are good. Wild Celebrant is not terrible sideboard technology. Ferris Band Centaur is awful. Treading Winds is also like medium sideboard technology. Peak Eruption is terrible. Um, I'm gonna take a Wild Celebrant and just put it in my sideboard. Spark Toll is not bad. Death Fellow Raider is bad. This one has to attack each combat available, right? Yeah, we'll just take Port of Betrayal. Camille of the Gods is not bad. Creature or enchantment card from among them into your hand. Okay. I don't think we're taking Guardians of Miletus. But the Centaur's booty so thick. <laughs> is it bad that I kind of want one of our emotes to just say thick? I don't want it to be a picture of a booty. I know everybody does that. I just wanted to say thick. And like, really like, thick letters. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes, Gabby, it is bad. <laughs> but what if it sounds awesome? Is anything not thick? Pick one, pack one, whip. Oh, that is, that is really, that, no, I would take that, Mikael. Are you drafting right now? It's bad because it's not Gabby Jaturki. I still don't know how we would do a Jaturki emote. Also, what are we taking in this pack? Maybe Burnished Heart? Temple for many, well, this is not Phantom, so it does not matter. Arena Athlete, I remember being worse than it actually was. I think I'd rather take Burnished Heart. I'm not kidding, chat. Arena Athlete, like... Yeah, I'm gonna take the Barnish Heart. I just... Ooh, Enthusa's not bad. Enthusa is a Tessin Hero, Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Enthusa is a Tessin Hero, up to three yeah. target lands you control become two to warrior, warrior creatures until on the turn they're still lands. That we will actually take. That's not too shabby. Hunt the Hunter with sideboard tech. Oh my gosh. Okay. This would actually be kind of a funny article. How many times has somebody tried to play in person Hunt the Hunter on not green creatures? I feel like this happened every time I went to draft. Ooh. This is a lot of cool stuff in this pack. Lightning Strike, which is obviously amazing. Ordeal of Nylea, which is like not, it's like one of the worst ordeals, but it's still an ordeal. Those are really good. Bow of Nylea. It is really sweet. I would just remember these games go really long and you just like play the bow and get like wreck people. Jitte, people are calling it Jitte. Yeah, I think the bow is really, really good too. I can't believe we're passing a lightning strike. That feels kind of bad. Staunch Hearted Warrior is, I remember being kind of nice. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Staunch Hearted Warrior, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Cause we're not taking anything else. Like we could take a Borderland Minotaur, but we're base green anyway. We have Warrior's Lesson, Ordeal of Perforos, uh, Abilities to not trigger Heroic. It needs to be an actual spell. Also, we would rather not play this Wild Celebrant. All right, let's take the Warrior. Swan Song. Oh, and Ilya's Disciple was very good. I do remember that. 
Yeah, crowd. I, you only need to target the guy once, and that guy's like pretty decent. Like four mana four four is pretty good. Sometimes this this would have been sick in our last deck. Uh, all these are so bad. Guess we take a dragon mantle. We're not actually red for too many reasons. So we're not, because we have three really good red cards, but red is not coming from this side. Um, it does replace itself, which is nice. It triggers Staunch Heart of Warrior, which is also nice. T, like, we're just going to take another Staunch Heart of Warrior again. We are kind of a big, uh, big into triggering heroic. Oh, Scourge Mark is a pretty nice way to trigger Heroic, too. Uh, why am I playing Red Pogolo? Because we've been... I don't know. We're drafting cards, and Red has been some of the cards that have been passed to us. I, look, you can draft anything and still do fine. We drafted Red a second ago and 3 0 Like... <laughs> I'll take Rage. Uh... Crown Crusader is not really where we want to be. <laughs> Throwing with red open setting because I didn't know you're playing red. <laughs> a current hoplite is quite good, but we're not. Our, it's not our colors, and we don't really want to commune. And like we already have a port of betrayal. All of these are. I do remember that return phalanx being pretty decent. I think I'll just take this, but put it in the sideboard. We're not really playing it. Uh, we don't want fog. We'll take shredding winds. All right, we'll take the thick centaurs. Another commune. Spark jolt for the side. We actually have a lot of good sideboard. Okay, we need to get. We need some help in this pack, but we need don't need a ton. Our deck is actually not looking too shabby. We need more creatures. FD territory. Eftatory, thank you so much for that host, and welcome if you're coming in from F the Territory stream. F the Territory and I are on the same stream team. I hope the stream was awesome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, so Hundred Handed One is really good, but there's also a lightning strike in this pack. So I think we just take lightning strike and just like move along. Otherwise, I might have considered ditching red and still playing red for Xenagos. But Lightning Strike is just really, really efficient and really good. Chronicler here is, is good, but not really what we're doing or in our colors. Uh, we could take Seder Hedonist. I, this was never amazing, but there's a non zero chance we use it to, to turbo out something. Like, it could happen. It was great. Standard was blue at Wind Guide. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I've been playing some standard FD territory. Not a ton as of like the last couple days, but I've been trying to find a deck for um, for GP Seattle. So I've been playing a little bit of standard here and there. That's true, Regulu. Needs more creatures, but we don't need it. Yeah, we're killing all the creatures. Nah, we have a lot of fours. I don't think we need the Cyclops. Pressy Pick says, I'm actually applying to Dara Wolf, so maybe I'll be moving to Denver too. Pressy Pick, what are you applying for? That's so cool. I'm going to take Seder Heat in this. Mm, I think I just want another Sedge Father. Although, actually, Feral Invocation is so sick with our um, two Staunch Hearted Warriors. Have I tried Red Green Monsters yet? Uh, in Standard? I did. It, I thought it was okay. You're applying to be a designer. Very cool. Precipice, I hope I hope you get it. Good luck in the in the job search. Hmm. This is a 
an interesting pick. I think it's just time to feed. But there is an argument for Anger of the Gods. Hmm, this card was good. Time to get hungry. I am so excited about dinner tonight, you guys. This place is like one of my favorite places in Chicago. Hmm. I guess defend the hearth. This is not good. Or deal of perforos. Okay. Wait, we actually have a couple choices. It could be our deal of perforos. Or deal of perforos is sick with staunch hearted warrior. <laughs> That's not Mr. J Dogs. <laughs> um. But it could also be Nessie and Corsair, which is, like, pretty good. I don't know. The ordeals are really good. I think we need a creature, Molly. You guys, maybe this is crazy, but I'm going to take the Corsair. I know that ordeal of Perforce is really good, but we only have 12 creatures. And this is a good creature. No, Louise. No, Mr. J Dogs. Especially not for you. Well, Windows, can you bother me about the Windows update later? Right now, it's time to draft Theros. Hmm. Dinner Pepper was not good. But maybe Messenger Speed is not insane in this deck. <laughs> this guy was good. I remember that. Mm. I don't think that unicorns is what we want to do in this deck. We'll take the Eld Tempered Cyclops this time. Uh, Artisan Sorrow for the sideboard. I don't know if the gods is not insane. Surprised that I came back around. God, this card was so atrocious. Loathsome Cow. Blah, 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 blah. You can totally main deck enchantment removal in the set if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think we want the dragon mantle. Uh, what else did we cut? Commune is not really what we want to do in this deck. Whoa, what happened? I did cut the commune. Okay. Ordeal, Seder, Sable, Seder. We have a lot of X ones. Uh, bow, commune. With the Wait, the commune of the gods. That's where it went. Stun lock! Oh my gosh, with a year sub! 12 months. Thank you so much for building the best community in Magic. Aww. So happy to be a member of your stream team and one of your moderators. I am looking so forward to all of your future content. Thank you so much, Stun Lock, for the 12 months and the tier 2 sub. Thank you for everything you do for this community, for being a kick ass mod, for being part of the stream team, and just being generally awesome. That is such a lovely message. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you are doing wonderful stunlock. Thanks again. Oh, and the tier two sub, let's not forget that. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, saying nice things about Gabby and chat. Hmm. How was the draft that was passing three seats away from you? I ended up in blue, green, Miss Cutter Hydra. Oh, Miss Cutter Hydra was dope and limited. DC, my, my draft was good. We ended up in... Um, we ended up where we wanted to be, I think. Yeah, there was so much love. Thank you so much, Stunlock. I really, really appreciate it. Stunlock, you're playing tomorrow, right? We're, like, prepping for it right now. I think you're not in my pod. I think you're in the evening pod. I'm in the morning pod. You're finally home and concussion free? Good. Good. That took a couple days. <laughs> we gotta cut one more card. Ferris Band Centaurs. Easy. You're in pod 2 tomorrow? Still, like, did you play much of this format? I played a bunch of it back in the day, but it's been a long time. This is, like, when I first got into Magic, so... Um, this this was, like, around the time where I was playing a lot. I don't even know if we want the Ill-Tempered Cyclops. We might want something cheaper. Do we want the Ill-Tempered Cyclops? That's the question. Hey, son of a Mitch, how are you? You also started in Theros. So I started at like, 
returned to Ravnica. And then I that's when I was ramping up and kind of starting going back to the LGS a little bit more often and started making friends locally and stuff. And so it was around Theros time that I, that I was actually going like every week and stuff. So this is very super nostalgic for me because it's right around the time when I was like really getting into magic, you know. Uh, yeah, our deck is our deck is good. I like our deck. Yeah, getting into magic and Theros must have given you people weird ideas about what magic games are like. Yes, these these games are just not very representative. But so was RTR. RTR just had a lot of stuff going on. Um, it's been so long since I've watched any streams. Whoa. Uh, this was a set that I stopped after a while. I started in Zendikar, stopped here, and then started back up in Ixalan, but not standard. I see, K Lord. There are a couple of limited sets around here that I kind of missed because I was doing yoga teacher training and I wasn't playing magic, but for the most part, these sets I did play a lot. Um, you said Acolyte seems poorly started. I'm kind of considering cutting this. It, it's not... Acolyte is medium. Maybe we take out Acolyte and we play Centaur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this looks better. Oh, hold on. No, we can totally just play that. And 23 and play 17. Yeah, so one, two. I did, you guys. I'm a certified yoga instructor. I don't know if I've talked about that too much on stream before, but there was a summer there where that's that instead of playing magic, that is all I did. I did like 200 RYT, which is like the 200 hours that you need of both like teaching classes and taking yoga classes to actually be a certified instructor. Triple counts was really good. I really like that format too. Seven and ten. I think eight and nine. And we have the Barnish hard too. Yeah. Yeah, triple counts was really fun. Oh, yeah, it was awesome, Sunny. I, I actually feel bad because I have been, like, especially when I've been moving and stuff like that, I have, like, zero time to actually go to the gym. So I actually feel bad because, you know, when you're going to the gym and going consistently, you're like, yeah, I'm eating better and I'm kicking butt and this is awesome. I'm, like, the opposite of that. I'm on the, like, I'm eating my pint of ice cream by myself at night. Like, the opposite of where you want to be. So... Gosh, Citadel Siege was terrible. But if you take Citadel Siege out of that, because, like, losing to Citadel Siege was awful, the rest of the format was pretty fun. You know how I was building your Blue Moon Breach deck? Well, I found one way to make it overwhelming. Splash, Madcap... Wait, what is... Platinum Imperium, you mean, son of a bitch? Is that what, the card you're talking about? That's how I've been for years as JK. I am planning on getting... Ooh, we're playing against the... This is DC Sports, you guys. I'm gonna keep this. We need to draw some lands, though. But we have a Sedge Father to, to tide us over until we do. That's kind of dope, Molly. What did they do with their thing? They put a card on top. We could have Warrior's Lesson to try to to draw um, a land here, but I think we have some time. I'm not super worried. And honestly, if we're ever able to set up the Warrior's Lesson on either of these, it's just like so much better value. So... I tried drafting a handful of times, but really never locked it until BFC. That format seemed flawed. I still missed. I like drafting Battle for Zendikar. I know I wasn't like... 
It wasn't even Battle for Zendikar that I liked the most. What was the, like, one right before it? Can't remember the name. <laughs> warriors, less on triggers, two warriors, though, and on theme. Although the best thing about Favorite of Forge is how fun... Yeah, Origins. Yes. I actually like that format. I don't know. I know it wasn't like the best format. But I like playing it. I thought it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Look, I know it wasn't like the most fun format ever, but I enjoyed it. So whenever you target this, you tap target creature and opponent controls and it doesn't untap until it's controller's next untap step. Okay. That's a problem. My Sedge Father! Hmm. I don't really want to I'm not, we're not taking like infinite damage from this thing yet. I know it's getting counters too. They get to draw two cards when they crack it. God, yeah, our deal of fossil is so good. I think I'm just playing Bone Ilea. We can't really chump Zerolith. It's a 3 6. Like, we can block with Death Touch Scorpion on this turn, but that's not going to stop it from attacking anymore. Um. Remember, only have Death Touch when you attack? No, I don't. This thing has Death Touch all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're being crazy. I think we can try to race. Like, if we play... We could play Xenagos, make a dude. Leave behind. Oh, with Bull and Elia. I see what you mean. I thought you were talking about the Sedge Scorpion, and I'm like, no, this thing has Death Touch all the time. I think I'm gonna try to race. I wanna play Staunch Hearted Warrior. Oh, um, I could have done this post combat. Would you leave blockers for this, Molly? I guess if they, because if they get to target this one more time, Sedge Scorpion isn't blocking anymore. And I don't really know, we don't have like a profitable block with either of these. So I think I'm just like, I'd rather just send with. Burnished Heart and leave behind such Scorpio. So if they have to target it, they have to target it. Like, one point of damage is actually making a difference. But, like... Oh, I see what you mean, Molly. Sure. Like, I do want it so that they have to target it. Oh my gosh. Seagull's Revenge was really good, and I forgot it was in the format. Well, that sucked. Seagull's Revenge was really good. Let's 
good against our deck too, because we are the like try to put counters on the stone try to warriors deck. Horizon Scholar, flying when Horizon Scholar enters the battlefield, scry two. All right, well, we have to deal with that. Nessie Nasp does deal with that, but we need to get Nessie Nasp down and play before we can do that. We might be playing um, Karametra's Acolyte here, depending on what we draw. Could also Zenagos and then make. We only get to make two, so that doesn't even help us too much. Yeah, I guess we're on our Karametra's Acolyte so we can dump our hand. Bow shoot flyers? No, it only deals two damage to our creature with flying. So, oh, I guess we could combo off to try to kill it. Like, we use bow and we use lightning strike. Maybe that's safer. It feels like a lot could go wrong. Shoot. Okay, well, we are definitely on the Karametra's Acolyte plan now. Is the draft the only format you play? No, I play like all the formats suck, but... So if we go... Seder Hedonist right now... We'll have one, two, three... Devotion... Four, five, so no, that doesn't quite work. We need to go like this. I'm not miscounting, right? Yeah, I'm thinking of like, if we go Xenagos and tick up, we get three, and then this taps for one, two, three, and then we play Nessianas. That should work. I, I, can I Hedonist first? I can definitely Xenagos, I can definitely, I'm gonna Xenagos, but I don't think I can Hedonist Xenagos Acolyte. Like, if I go like this and I say play Hedonist. Oh, no, it does work. Then I tap this for three, four, and then this taps. No, 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 it doesn't. No, we can't Hedonist first. We got a Xenagos. I think you guys might be right. I think we could have had Hedonist somewhere in there, but. If we play Hedonist, then tap Acolyte. Oh shit. Horizon Chimera. Oh my gosh, second Horizon Chimera. They get to draw. Gosh, that, that gains them so much life too. Okay, we have Lightning Strike for the Chimeras. Okay, Nessie and Asp, hold down the fort. Uh, so our bow is actually like sick against Easy's deck. 
Uh, that's a problem. So we need to leave Lightning Strike to kill this thing 100%. And we can go Seder Hedonist, then tick up Xenagos to make five to play a Staunch Hearted Warrior, and then Lightning Strike kill that. Okay. So yeah, let's play Hedonist, tick up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can play Staunch Hearted Warrior. Aren't we dead in the air? Am I missing something? How? We have this to block this and then we take these two. How are we dead? What are you guys talking about? If they can target with Wave Crash Titan and tap our ass, but yeah, we're dead. But that's not... I know, we're killing Horizon Agent, but why are people saying that we're dead on the air? I think people are just like... People are on some shit. Things I've learned from drafting this and green is never open. Green was super open in my, oh no. They're attacking me. You could have sacrificed. Wait, what is this? Math is hard. <laughs> We gotta send with some stuff. <laughs> we gotta send with the like staunch hearted warrior and ill temper cyclops and we cannot force attacks for lethal. Because they have two blockers and they block our biggest things. They block like this and this. And then they take three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they're not even close to being dead. I have a disciple of my own. Yeah, that would get us out of this mess. So we have to send with some attackers here. Let's go. Um, Tempered Cyclops. Warrior. Probably the Barnished Heart and not the Acolyte, I guess a Hedonist. Okay, 
so we kind of have to warriors lessen these two. Hold on. This costs how much? Six to monstrosity. We can't even really kill it, but we could stop it from dying. Um... It might not matter too much. I think we still just like warriors less than these two. I think. Huh. Sacking hard does increase the chances that we don't draw lands. Yeah. We haven't even used Zenegos yet. So let's sack. And we do want to use this, I think. We do want to use the Ill Temper Cyclops. Because our draw, the thing that we're basically looking for is like Nylea's, um, Nylea's uh, Disciple is what we want. And I don't think we want this thing to die. So let's sack the heart. Bow's already exiled. We don't have that as a that. We do have another lightning strike that we could find. I'm trying to decide if we want a monstrous this ill temper cyclops, but I'm thinking that I don't want to. So I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to let it happen. We couldn't use the Zenigo's ultimate. There you go. All right, so let's tap this. And then we'll just play both of these. Yeah, so we go staunch hearted warrior. Hold on, we need to make mana with, um, with Xenagos. Because if we tap this, we don't get to do both. Yeah, we do have to, we have to tick up with this. Right? This is six. Yeah. So staunch hearted warrior first. And then we can't really do anything else for the rest of the mana, so I guess we just pass. Why do I want to zack the Hedonist? People want me to zack the Hedonist for, like, no reason. I don't get it. monstrous aspect we sack the hedonist i think but then we just have one less creature in play also so i don't i don't even know if that's like where we want to be at in any case i we're not even like really that worried about the horizon chimera anymore so like i think we monstrous the asp and we start sending with it
Yeah, Monstrous Ass didn't do anything last turn. I don't know why you guys want to sack the Hedonist. I'd rather have a blocker, honestly. I'm adding mana and doing nothing with it, so they can't kill Xenagos. No, I don't want to send the team. They're coming at me, I see. Now I'm probably going to send the team. Um, so if I send with a team right now, they block this here, and then they block our second biggest thing, which is just this. And then they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Or they chump this here, and they and then they they hit us for seven next turn. So people have it out for the heat in this. I don't know what's wrong. Well, the match, yeah, it has been. The sitter has haste, yes, but we just we don't get to kill them, not really. I will be going to GP Vegas. People do like sacrificing stuff, even if it's not necessary. <laughs> Murder the heat in a cast table. <laughs> Second win. Yeah, I don't. Um... Kind of want to send everybody and then just leave behind like the Sedge Scorpion of Bronze Sable and like the Karametra's Acolyte or something. And then send with like this, 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 and this. I'm not ace spacing, I'm leaving like three creatures behind. So I'm not making a, uh, like I'm gonna leave behind a thing from Xenagos. So I'm gonna send. Oh boy, they have something. This, 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 and this. Yeah, this seems fine. Oh my god. <laughs> to everybody who's worried that I'm going to time out, you must be new here. They have a bounce spell for my asp. That sucks. Yep, that sucks. <laughs> you are new here. All right. So friendly reminder, we will time out many times and it will not be a big deal. <laughs> oh. We did work really hard to grow that snake. It was kind of rude. All right. So if we block here and here, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of think we're supposed to go I think we're supposed to make a dude and attack. And if they have anything, we just lose. It 
It is exactly dead. I think we're supposed to go for it. Shredding wind seems good against them, and was Spark Jewel good against them? I don't think it was. Anger of the Gods might be good against them. Attack all sack the hedonist with Lisa on the stack. <laughs> Why does everybody want to sack the hedonist? It doesn't make any sense. People hate that, the poor guy so much. We are battling DC Sports, indeed. This is a snake fight. A fight to the death. It was actually very much determined by the snake on in play, so. Oh, Benny, that's awesome. And congratulations, that's super exciting. Dev the tool, thank you so much for the 10 months. Welcome back, how are you doing? I'm thinking about Anger of the Gods. It could be good against some of the stuff that we saw. Kind of want to, actually. I'm, being, I'm bringing the Shredding Winds. Maybe take out some of our small stuff, like Seder Rambler and Bronze Sable. <laughs> Chad is very conservative. It's Gendalus by Hedonists. It's a reckless lifestyle. Dude, Louise, are you seeing this? People, like, love to hate on the hedonist. Wild Celebrant. We didn't really see anything that was good to kill with that. Take out the hedonist is getting sacrificed anyway. <laughs> I brought in... I brought in Anger of the Gods. And I boarded out my, like, X2s, basically. Basically. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. What format are we playing? We're playing a Theros Flashback Draft. We can keep this. We need to draw some stuff, but I think this could be good. Perfect. Right on time. See, say that Sack Hedonist to Cast Anger actually makes sense, as opposed to all the other things that chat wants me to <laughs> sack for. And it's indecent. <laughs> Ooh. Are we doing it? We might be doing it. Are we gonna get grub tighted? That's gonna be a Prussian chimera. I'm gonna I'm gonna lightning strike the hell out of it. Or sorry, horizon chimera, whatever. Same difference. Temple of Deceit. Bottom. Alright, well, we're gonna do it again. I bet this is a Horizon Chimera again. Surprise! Uh, do we Shredding Winds or Lightning Strike this thing? They do have the big Chimera, Horizon Chimera. We Oh, I guess Rage of Perforos takes care of that eventually. I do have a stop on my Ensep Molly. That's real smart. I think I want to strike it. They do have that big flyer that if... 
I'm gonna lightning strike it. I don't know. I feel like if they on top and they play the big Horizon Chimera, I'm gonna lose. That's fine. Two two target creature and opponent controls when that creature dies this turn you gain three life. Choose target creature and opponent controls when that creature wait. What? What the fuck? What's all the text on time to feed? It's fight and gain life, but why is it not... Oh, target creature control fights that creature. I see, oh god. I see, I see. Um... I guess we're just attacking with Nessie and Corsair then. We could feed it to the Scorpion. Tradesies. I'm not gonna do anything. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Now I kind of wish I had killed it. Chat's freaking out about the clock, which is pretty unreal. I don't... <laughs> There must be a lot of new people here today. <laughs> mm, that thing's annoying. I'll probably time to feed my Sedge Scorpion to that thing. Yeah, I'm still gonna time to feed it, yo. It's not really gonna do what I want it to. I'm gonna time to feed this and this. One, two, three. Gonna gain some life. Time to humph. And we still have Feral Invocation and Shredding Winds if they play the big Chimera. Fudge, really? Feral up my guy right now. Why? It has Flash. Oh, so that we can race, you think? I kind of wanted to hold up Shredding Winds, but I guess this makes sense now. God, so awkward. Yeah, for extra damage, sure. That was super awkward draw. Alright, DC doesn't have attacks here. Send. If they have a bound spell, it's pretty bad for us if we send with Staunch Heart of Warrior and they bound our, our Nessian Courser. So I guess I'm just sending with Nessie and Corsair. It's like so bad if they have a bounce spell. You would have sent both, Molly. Maybe I'm just being chicken shit. It's like atrocious if they have a bounce spell. Yeah, I guess that would have worked out much better if I actually... We could anger the gods here to get rid of everything. We can't beat that thing, I don't think, so...
All right. So as long as we top a creature and they don't play, and they play like the big chimera, which they haven't. Nothing. Nothing for us. Yes. Oh boy. Yep. I know, we had gotten the two points of damage and well, they, they eventually played that thing, so it didn't matter. God, this thing's not gonna start chipping away at us. Oh, hello. That's a very good draw. Forge Insider has to attack. Oh. Oh, yeah, it can't. That's right. Have to chump one of these. We both drew so much land, too. What is this? Horizon Chimera? So many Horizon Chimeras. <laughs> when is time for timeout spam? It's around this time. GG's. But we are not gonna time out. We are actually just gonna win. Well, wow. okay. After drawing a million bricks, drawing Xenagos was amazing. See? No clock problems here. Mm -mm. is notorious for being a slow board stall kind of format. People just start, people start freaking out about the clock when there's like seven minutes left and it's like, <laughs> you must be new here. Oh, this hand is kind of awkward. I kind of want to run it though. We don't cast anything without a green source, but we have a lot of lands. Hey, the decon, how are you? DCGGs, oh my gosh. That was the first half of the, like, the first game. Hi, go like have fun. I love the stream, thanks. Yeah, Elspeth is the best farm in the format. I'm gonna keep this. I kept two drop, six lands in game two. Really, DC? That's funny. I was seeing it's the snap keep. Oh man, we need to draw green swords like pronto. Yes! Never didn't have it. Okay, so now we get to go hedonist into Corsair, Corsair, Acolyte, Staunch, Hard Warrior. Hedonist found us a forest. <laughs> this poor Hedonist did nothing wrong. Chad just wants him dead for no reason. Oh boy, that thing's a problem. Carna, carne asada, thank you so much for the first time sub and welcome to the brood. I hope you're doing fantastic. I also hope we draw, oh boy. <laughs> Lightning strike for the Wingsteed Rider. I guess we're just sending him with a hedonist. That was not, no bueno. I remember a larger tourney of Theros where the pool I ended up was and I goes and I got an else, but that's insane and see. But thank you again, Carnia Sada, for joining us. I do hope you're having a lovely day. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Hope you enjoyed Theros Block Limited. 
They're on the Nessian Courser, huh? I think we no longer have a Dax. I also had the double strike for the Chimeras back to back. Oh yeah, we had wins in hand for like, it was rotting in my hand for so long. Well, I feel like attacking here is no no good because they're just going to block the Scorpion and then they have an Essen Courser and we don't have an Essen Courser. How do you get better in limited? That's a good question. You can read articles by pros. You can watch draft videos. That's probably the best way to do it. Reading about limited magic, listen to stuff like limited resources, like all that stuff really helps. So, oh god. This is what I'm thinking. We need to clear the path for these staunch hearted warriors no matter what. So I'm gonna send in Nessian Courser. I was gonna trade with Scorpion. Which is fine. But now, I can play Acolyte, which not only blocks the Nessian Courser, also lets us play our Staunch Hearted Warriors. Warrior into Ordeal attack. No, but they have a Scorpion. You don't wanna like run your Ordeal into Scorpion. That's a bad, bad plan, yo. Also, we're just gonna die to this. Oh, I should have played Nessian Courser there. Yeah, so we're gonna have to bring Shredding Winds probably. Their plan is to wing seed rider boon seeder. Boon seeders are rare, right? Yeah, that card's pretty good. Hey, Shino. So. All right, this is our, this is our Hail Mary, okay? This is the plan. We're gonna put the Ordeal of Perforos here on the Staunch Hearted Warrior. And then we're gonna send Staunch Hearted Warrior, Burnished Heart, and Stater Hedonist to attack. We're gonna Warriors lessen the two creatures that aren't blocked. And Ordeal of Perforos is gonna target Wingsteed Rider. And then we're gonna draw Lightning Strike off of the two creatures with Warrior's Lessons. And then we're gonna Lightning Strike to finish off the Wingsteed Rider. That is the plan, okay? <laughs> So, no, I don't want to blow up Courser, because if I blow up Courser, I die to the Wingsteed Rider. We don't have a, another way to deal with it. So, we have to crack this right now, and actually target it without even knowing that we're going to hit. We just have to do it. <laughs> Look, it's, it's not called a Hail Mary for not being a ridiculous plan. Okay, so now Warrior's Lesson, target you, target you. Uh, ding dong. And you just have to believe. <laughs> All right. Get lucky, get lucky, get lucky! <laughs> Wait. Yes. That also works. Oh my god. I didn't even think this was an out. 
No, but now we're just dead because of freaking Nessian Courser. We just blocked this and we died in Nessian Courser. Urgh! Mm, all right. Wait, can we play two creatures? If we sack the hedonist, then we get three. And we sack this, right? We get six, seven, which is not enough to stop this from happening. We don't have enough, we're short one. So I guess it was better to hit the Courser in that case. Honestly, I thought Lightning Strike was kind of like the only thing that we could do here, but. Let's see what we were drawing. I thought Lightning Strike was our only out, but I guess Nessie and Asp wasn't, wasn't out there too. Also, we can't see what we drew. God, I hate magic online. Why is it so buggy? All right, let's bring in probably a Shredding Winds. That too, Molly. Maybe we're supposed to send with one less creature. Yeah, I don't know. Strike is... Remember, we had two strikes in the deck, so I thought drawing Lightning Strike was probably a better out there, but... Hey, our, I kind of punted on... Uh... <laughs> I'm playing the Witcher today. I kind of forgot. Yeah, probably. We just send with two. Leave one behind. It was a weird turn. I think this used to be a Witcher stream. I'm going to play it at some point this weekend, Ark. That's my plan. Like, I don't know if I'll have infinite time to stream this weekend, but I do want to stream at some point. Because then the following week, I'm actually moving. So I want to stream one of these weekend days, because I'm not going to be around on, like, um, let me look at the calendar real quick. Yeah, I'm not going to be around on, like, the first or second, I think. I'm going to stream in the morning, I think, of the first, and then the second, I'm just going to be out. Uh, we have one gimme second in the sideboard. Gimme? What gimme? Why aren't we playing Rage? Because we have uh, another one. Oh, yeah, time to feed us an out there. First or second, Gooby has failed us. I'll be around. I won't be around on the second. I'll be around on the first, I think. I'm just going to stream in the morning. And then say goodbye to this stream setup because it's all going down. All right, this is fine. I'm going to Denver script. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a real troubleshooting stream after I move. It's unreal. Is Denver confirmed better than Chicago? I don't know that that's true. It definitely has better weather. It probably has worse food. <laughs> I 
Oh, DGN, tell me what you like about it. Tell me about some sweet places to go check out. I need to go scope out some places when I get there. I need to learn about all the good food spots. I will miss that. I feel like if anybody ever asked me for food recommendations in Chicago, I was just like, I am your girl. I got you. I got you, fam. <laughs> Benny, yeah, I feel like it does come up a lot. Um, I'm going to tag. I think that's fine. Buck, buck, buck. Did we see a time to fade out of opponent? No, we haven't seen it. draw a bunch yo 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 yeah, this attack does look decent molly you know it mm. tasty 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 i kind of want to use lightning strike now just because um my mana is going to be constrained otherwise I mean, I'm gonna let them go to their turn, but I am gonna lightning strike something. The Kadarbrock, the thing is, like, I get to play two cards next turn. I get to play Nissan Corsair and Lightning Strike. But I can't do that if I don't use Lightning Strike this turn. Yeah, that's true, Molly. Maybe it's too risky. I felt a little chicken shit, but maybe I'm just being chicken shit. I'm actually just gonna kill this now. My opponent's like very close to dead at this point. Ba -ba -bam. Oh, feral invocation is terrible. You're right. Alex! Alex, thank you so much for the first time sub, and welcome to the brood. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for supporting the stream. I really do appreciate it. Mm. Interesting. Well, we could just play Bow and Ilya and give all our attacking creatures death touch. Then anything trades with anything. What else can we do? We're going to be able to put a counter on a creature, depending on how they block. Okay, let's put a counter on this. One, two. And so the nemesis is dead, the corsair is dead, and we get to keep two creatures. Yeah, I think our opponent's pretty dubs over here. We're still in the Theros draft hard luck. <laughs> Basic, we were doing good. We won round one and this is round two. Okay, so I no longer know how good the shredding wins is, but I think... Artisan Sorrow is not insane. Did we see any good cards for Artisan Sorrow? We just saw a lot of, a lot of like fairies, like a lot of centaur coursers. Oh, our deck is all thick asps. <laughs> Maybe Port Nord Betrayal is not insane. Hey, Nutrient, how are you? Unfortunately, we had to shut them both. Yeah, they have a lot of ways to deal with it, but I, I do think it was correct to use it there. We saw the Boon, yeah. Boon Seder is the only thing it gets, though. 
When I say that thick gasps are the best thing about the format, yes. It's not even close. I kind of want to take Portent of Betrayal. Like, they're playing big snakes and they're playing Wingsteed Riders to bestow them. Like, we steal at one turn and get fucked. Like, it's not like Wild Celebrants is very good. Or Artisan Sorrow is that good. I'm gonna play Portent. I think it can be good. I don't love playing Threaten Effects Unlimited, but I think it could be good here. Uh, yeah, this is good. This hand's great. I would keep the wins in case they do some crazy shit. Commune with the gods. What did they take? They took the Lagona Ban Elder. Yeah, they did. Probably do lightning strike this. It's just a really good rate for a creature. Yeah, I hope it was bad Molly, but it's hard it's hard to know. Cause if they go even if they go planes right here, Wingsteed Rider, we still get to eat it with Nessie and Corsair. I mean they did it, but we're still gonna get the time to feed, which is good. And I actually think we should do it this turn, because this thing gets out of control real fast. And next turn we just get to play Nessie and Asp. Humph. Delicious staunch hearted warriors. That is not a big deal. We also have some good mana sinks for the next couple turns. Like here we're gonna attack. And if they block, that's fine. No blocks? That was aggressive. We're also close to monster seeing this, which is nice. Five mana open and a lot of green red tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This opponent has never blocked when we've had mana up. That is for sure. Interesting. I mean, we're swinging with both. Are they going to try to, like, boon stater us? Even if they do, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. This is sweet. Next turn, if we draw land, we get to attack with all creatures. Said Scorpion just trades with Laguna Band Elder, and the other two threat, like the Ill Temper Cyclops threatens to monst to become monstrous. And Nessian Asp just can attack into it no problem. That's pretty annoying. Yep, we're dealing with Leon, it is pretty nice.
That was a nice draw. All right. That was really nice. They're just blocking this here. They can take six. This is going to give them, what, land? So that's not even that big of a deal. So then if we monstrous this now, we hit for six, seven. Is that better than playing a Karametra Zacolite and a Seder Rambler? It does mean that the that the power is here now. Like, we can put these before combat. I think I'm just going to monstrous. Because, like, they don't even have attacks if we do that. Yeah, I'm just going to monstrous it. So they're going to have to leave the Wingsteed Rider behind. Because almost anything is going to be lethal. If you control a creature with a plus one, plus one counter on a draw card, which they did. They could have traded with us if they double blocked, but they didn't. We won the match! All right, you guys. I have exactly enough time for the last match because... Oh, Ojiba DC sent me a message, but we don't get to see it because it is magic online. My dinner reservation with my friend is at five, so we have exactly enough time to get some trophies. Any trophies? Uh, I think we keep this hand, and if we really need it, we can stack the hedonist for red mana. Are you happy now, chat? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I guess we can't stack the hedonist without red mana, so no. Yeah, Chuyo, I'm not going to have time. I fired up the stream earlier today because I knew I was going to have to head out early, too. <laughs> Maybe I should just gem nothing but Theros the 1900. New strats. Hey, Ojiba, I didn't get your last message because you know how Magic Online just doesn't show it to you? Vapor can can't block only creatures... Vapor can can only block creatures with flying. Well, we drew another land, which is not terrible. As that part is a dinner around five every day. Two small kids do that to you. Oh, uh, you just said thanks for the games. Thanks for the games for you too. Oh my gosh, what is this? When Fate Foretold enters the battlefield, draw a card. When Enchanted Creature dies, its controller draws a card. Okay. Sure, I guess. Trio, if you time to feed it, then they draw more cards, so they're probably going to play more lands. So, no. That would be too aggressive. When you time to feed your warrior, does he get his counters before the damage is dealt? Yeah, he does. Indeed he does. We just need to draw land, and then we're in good shape. It is a wombo combo. Land? Well, this is a very good one against them. I also should have attacked, then played bow, but... You know, they might actually trade it, which is fine by me, also. God, if I draw a red source next turn, I can lightning strike and use a bow on my Ilya. That'd be so sick. 
Yes. <laughs> I'm saddened to see the lack of Garys. This is this dice to bow dot deck. So I do think I don't want them to draw the extra card because it does look like they're missing land drops. So I think I'm gonna do it now because I don't want to deal with bullshit. I'm gonna lightning strike and kill this. I don't think Gary would be a good draw right now. <laughs> no, probably not. See, they are missing land drops. Oh boy. Whenever Enchanted Creature attacks, scry one. Let me put a card on top. I assume that's a land, so I'm not super worried about letting them draw it. They are missing the land drop, though. Um, that's pretty desperate, yes. I'm gonna just kill it now. And I'll pass with Lightning Strike. Hmm. Actually, is that even worth it? I am at 10, though. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck it up. All right. Well, bam. It is kind of the same diff. We're just trading card for card. I mean, it cost me two more mana than them. They also do get to draw their presumably land here in a second. But as soon as I draw land, I get to play my Nessian Asp. So I just need one land. One land. Thank you. Bam, here comes Breaching Hippocamp. No. Woo! Dead ass! Hey, Shifter, how are you? Yeah, we'll gain some life if we need to. I mean, right now we're just winning. It was preaching Hippocamp! <laughs> I was just joking. I didn't mean it. <laughs> oh boy. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna eat the Prussian Chimera. We are good. We are all good. On my first PTQ of opponent cast Arceus form and quickly attached it and scribed, then he really got mad because I asked him to stop because I had a response. Really? That's pretty silly, Barney. That is silly. Um What's the, like, best sequencing for this? I'm trying to think about it. Because if we attack with Nessie and Asp and they don't block, then post-combat we time to feed the Nessie and Asp to the Chimera. And... No, because if I kill that 3-4 and swing, then they block Breaching Hippocamp and then my Nessie and Asp um, trades with their whole board, which I don't want. I want to keep my Nessie and Asp at the end of it. I think I attack with just a Nessian Asp first, then I time to feed, and then maybe I'll gain some life. Yeah, Parney. It's like hard to call a judge in the beginning when you're like pretty new to magic and you're just kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let this slide. Why not rage? Because I have time to feed Ginza some life, and then we get to use Bob Nylea to gain more life. Alright, so it's time to feed this to this. One, two, three. 
And yeah. Hippocamp <laughs> solar reads. Oh, thank you so much, Molly. I'm probably gonna tweet that out. Why do people want me to sack the Seder? It's never been good. Not one time the entire draft has it ever been good to sack the Seder. <laughs> Have I played Lantern since being enlightened in the, in the correct ways to play it, you mean? The proper way to play Lantern, right? I think we're bringing in... Artisan Sorrow looked quite good. Also, Shredding Winds. Oh, you can be a clip. That's true. Hold on, let me see this, Molly. One land. Thank you. Bam, here comes Breaching Hippocamp. <laughs> no. Woo! Dead ass! Hey, Shifter, how are you? Yeah, we'll gain some life if we need to. I mean, right now we're just winning. <laughs> Breaching Hippocamp. It was <laughs> Breaching Hippocamp. <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> mm, I, I was puzzle, just joking. gonna keep making noises. I think so, Bika. They have like infinite flyers. Like, in fact, said Scorpion looked not great against them. Even Rage of Perforos doesn't look very good. It's just like expensive. Way to kill like a little flyer. You would not bring in the Shredding Winds, BK? Yeah, you would cut out the rage. All right, I'm in. CFB reacts to Gabby reacting to Gabby. <laughs> Yeah, so the Sedge Father looked medium. Oh boy. So this hand is okay if we draw green. So it's actually not even that good. We have a Shredding Winds. We're like pretty far from like, this Disciple and Ill-Tempered Ill Cyclops. We're like man is cured in both ways and that we don't have enough lands and then if we draw, yeah, this hand sucks. Let's, we can do better. This hand is much better. That Asp. How's this gonna go? We're gonna draw. The asp is really good. I'm gonna be greedy and keep it. I want it. I want it. You can't tell me I can't have it. Vaporkin, sure. I see your Vaporkin and raise you a hedonist. Chat's gonna want me to sack the this right now to play the ass, I swear. I actually think this might be like the time that Gooby always in for dead ass BS. I'm always in for dead ass. I could attack with Hedonist this turn and then ramp out an Essien Asp. I really could do that. This might be the one turn where it actually makes sense. I think I'm gonna. I think finally it's gonna happen, chat. You get to have it is spooky. I don't know. Doing it into three mana is kind of spooky. If they grip tied me, that's like pretty horrible. If they bounce me, that's pretty horrible. I think I'm gonna be chicken shit. I'm gonna be chicken shit. This is a chicken stream, I'm sorry. This is a chicken shit stream. I'm scared, BK. I'm scared. I was scared. Nice. 
Nice. I mean, we're just winning this race. Dissolve would have been bad too. I guess Dissolve, it isn't uncommon though. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do that last turn. I feel like I feel like they have something. I feel like they're trying to debate us. I've I've seen this dance before. I could go Xenagos take up strike this guy, attack with both, and they just have a vaporkin left back. That sounds dope as fuck. Where are you coming at? Xenagos. Okay. I remember when my friend Gabby was a human, not a chicken. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I feel like we were getting debated. I really don't think that was wrong. I think there's something. I think they were up to something. So I kind of want to go um take up like play asp and tick up so that they can't like i'm gonna leave the asp behind and then they don't have just make a 2-2 two -two and alpha yeah you guys really want to go i guess they're really far behind if they want to start attacking zendigos that is not insane all right let's get aggressive be aggressive be aggressive mtg i'm heading out to danver I bought Slay the Spire yesterday after watching you play. Spent like six hours playing until I realized it was two in the morning at work night. Oh my gosh, our... Yeah, we did it! Sorry, I just did it. So we won. We won the draft. Hold on, let me get some confetti, yo. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Two trophies, dog? Bam! Look at us at the top of the league leaderboard thing. Um, let me finish the, the YouTube recording here real quick. If you are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like these videos, you can like and subscribe for more. That always helps the channel out. And if you want to catch the stream live, you can come to twitch.tv slash Gabby Sparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoons central times. And if you want to see more of these videos, you can go to youtube.com slash Gabby Sparts. I'll have... Uh, more Theros drafts along with basically like all the other formats. So thanks for watching YouTube. See you later.